Hi, my name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary focus on family law. Please subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've been asked by one of our uh, longtime clients uh, to discuss the issue of custody as it relates to the non-payment of support. Uh, more specifically, if a person doesn't pay child support in the past, even goes to jail for non-support in the past, does that preclude them from later on pursuing a custody claim? And the answer is really no. There is a relationship between supporting your child and getting custody. Clearly a person who wants to come before the judge and say, Your Honor, I am the best person to be custodian. And then they find out that you're such a great person, but meanwhile, you don't meet, meet your minimum basic support requirements. The court is likely to say, You know what? I have a hard time believing that you're the best choice. You don't pay your support. Having said that, if it's a historical fact, if it's something that occurred way back when, you fell behind on support, you didn't pay it, you went to jail, you, you paid your debt to society, more importantly, you paid your debt to the friend of the court, that was five years ago, can you pursue custody? And the answer is you can. You can pursue custody because at that point in time, the child support doesn't really bear on whether or not you would be an appropriate custodial parent, whether or not it's in the best interest of the child to live with you. Any more so than, let's say, you paid support religiously the whole time. Does that necessarily mean that you're going to get custody? And the answer is no. You can be a person who pays support all the time and still not be the appropriate custodian based on the best interest factors. So yes, there is a relationship between paying support and having a factor into the custody decision, but it doesn't carry the day in and of itself. Payment of support doesn't mean you're going to get custody. Non-payment doesn't mean you're going to lose. There are many other factors that go into the mix. And when the court looks at these things, the court tends to look at not so much what went on five years ago. Uh, the court is more about, you know, what have you done for me lately? How have things been going on the last 60, 90 days, maybe last six months? That's a time frame that the court can uh, get behind. But something that happened years ago, it is not likely that the court is going to find that that weighs heavily in the custody determination. If you have any questions about that, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.